Hi, I'm Tom Zanelli and welcome to Marathon Bet's Goal Celebration Makeover. Today I've come to the Hibernian Training Centre where I'm joined by David Gray, Grant Holt and Lewis Stevenson. And I've been told that you lads have the worst goal celebrations at the club. Not my words lads, the words from the boys in the changing room. Well, have you seen David's in the cup final? He's done four in one. Legend mate. Legend mate. Four in one, not bad eh? Decent. Well don't worry, Marathon Bet here today to give you a new goal celebration makeover. We're going to find out which one of you lads has the worst celebration and one of you will get the goal celebration makeover. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take a penalty each for your best goal celebration. Your teammates will mark you out of a score of 20, and the player with the lowest score will be given the goal celebration makeover. Sound good, lads? Excellent. Sounds good, mate. Let's do it. You're not marking an unbelievable penalty, lads. I can't believe you put me stip and he put lacking grace yeah. and I got more points off Louis than you. Grant, what was that all about, mate? That was pretty terrible. Well, I thought jumping in the roly-poly, that's about as gymnastic, as athletic as I normally get. And obviously, I've seen the young lads doing this, this thing with comedy to that, but all I know is DAB radio, that's it. <laughs> well, don't worry, mate. Marathon Better come with three unique goal celebrations just for you. And the best thing about it is the fans are going to vote at home for your new goal celebration. And every time you do this goal celebration, we're going to give £500 to the Hibernian Community Foundation. Cool. So you're going to agree on camera to yeah, get a goal celebration? It, yeah. Good lad. Good band from you. Over to you, mate. Over to you. Let's go. So you've seen Grant's three new goal celebrations. Grant, what did you make of that? I thought they were alright. I thought I pulled them off not too bad, to be fair. Yeah, I agree with that, mate. I, thought I enjoyed them. What, what was your favourite? Oh, I can't influence a vote. Okay, mate. Well, it's, it's over to the fans. Fans, you can choose option A, B or C now. Voting's open until Friday the 16th of December. So get voting and remember one lucky fan will win a David Gray signed shirt and hospitality tickets to a Hibs game of your choice. Grant, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. This has been Marathon Bet's Goal Celebration Makeover. Thanks for watching. Out to Soma. 
that's given away by Sowat and again plays it quickly for Jason Cummings Cummings will charge down that far side he's got Avalonitis out there with him Hibs need to get bodies forward Cummings cuts back inside can he get the shot away on the right foot lovely ball for Grant Hall it's in the back of the net it's a two goal lead the flag stays down Jason Cummings rolls in to the path of Grant Hall he draws the goalkeeper and slots it past him into the same bottom right hand corner Grant tell me a wee bit about what it felt like to score in an Edinburgh derby ah, you can't um, I don't think you can tell anyone what it's like to be in the derby until you've actually done it and I know that sounds awful um, I'm very lucky that I'm, I'm privileged enough to be able to do it and no, it felt great as I said to get it in the derby, I said I haven't scored enough goals this year. Uh, I think I haven't scored since October, so ever, ever since the marathon bet thing came off. So they maybe jinxed us a little bit and start scoring goals. Um, but no, um, as I said, it, it's great to score in the derby. And as I said, I managed to pull out both celebrations. I've done the marathon bet, the incredible Hulk, mm -hmm. and I managed to get me rolled about from my little girl's birthday. It was yesterday, so it worked out really, really, really good for me. I really enjoyed it. Today. Grant Holt will be with us soon. Started all four of his previous Scottish Cup ties this season. 36 now, but he does love a cup goal. Seven in his last ten cup matches in England and Scotland. Yeah, I thought he might have come on, but maybe 15, 20 minutes to go, ideally, when Hibs were still in the game and they could use something different. I think this is desperate because 2-0 down at this stage, can't really afford to let it go any further. It's a tactical move, there is no injury for Hibbs. Fraser Fivey will be the man to come off, we think. And a yellow card. Taylor. Put himself in front of Cummings and then ran into him. The other thing is, it's a shot to the system for the Hibbs players. Try and spark them into life. Shows nothing as yet. Fraser Fivey can't believe it. Uh, it's Phil McLeod and the team he supports but it's a needs must scenario here for Hibbs and Neil Lennon felt the need to do something and they simply haven't got into the game at all it's a really sore one for him to take you wouldn't expect that I think he should try and go off a bit quicker just drawing attention to himself there's a five got it to make way from Neil Lennon but uh, he's moving away swiftly so he's jacked it away there yeah, interesting what can Hibbs do with this long throw from Ambrose Boyle McGinn looking for Bartley but comfortably clear well, when you've got Holt and McGregor up there, you've got to get it in the box. They're still trying to play the passing game when there's a bit of aerial power now. McGeoch carries to Joe Lewis. Semi-final that started so badly for Hibson hasn't got much better. Aberdeen in charge. Boyle. Gray. Bartley. Cummings. Fended off interest from Reynolds. Logan pinched the ball off McGee up though. Well, I've got to say, they've had the ball in a position where Holt is screaming for it. Just play a diagonal. Let me get into the game. He doesn't need to win it. But he can put the likes of Considine and Reynolds and Taylor off. And Hibbs can try and pick up any sort of loose ball. Boyle. Hibbs know they need to score the next goal to... Keep their Scottish Cup hopes alive. It's in there! And they have done just that! Talk about making an immediate impact! 
Grant Holmes scores just after coming on. They're not giving up their grip on the Scottish Cup yet. Brilliant from Boyle. He creates this with a drive, with his pace. Look at Hull. Just give me something to go and attack. It's a magnificent delivery into the box. Joe Lewis can't possibly come and take it. And he does really well just to head it down, back across the goal. Hits it back in this. Credit to Neil Lennon for making such a brave substitution. It's paid off for him immediately. It's right up there in the list of inspired substitutions over the years. It was a back in this Scottish Cup semi-final. Grant Hall continues his scoring spree in National Cup competitions down south and up north. You know, we, we got back in the game. And, no, let me just... Lewis, um, talk to me about your emotions there. Lewis, um, talk to me about your emotions there. No, we're, we're gutted. Um, we gave ourselves a mountain to climb and, you know, we, we got back in the game. And, no, I think we're just disappointed we didn't play as well as, as what we could. Yeah, obviously we're disappointed um, not to be in the final. Um, I think... We obviously we never played well in the first 15 minutes, um, find myself 2 all down, but I think we showed a lot of character getting back into the game and once it goes to two each we, we looked as if we were the team that was going to go and get the winner, so we're disappointed that we, the goals we lost today and um, that's the end of the cup run, but I said it up there that the, the priority this season was to get promotion and we've done that, so everything else was a bonus. I'm disappointed, um, I said we thought we'd done enough to to get in the game, we got back in two two cheap goals. Got back in the game two two on the ascendancy. Um, ended up being a little bit end to end, and uh, I said we, they got the deflected shot, and that kind of killed us a little bit. But even then, we didn't stop. We kept them going, we kept them going. Uh, we had a couple of chances to get back in it, but it just didn't happen for us today. So um, the substitution when you came on. It's it's a substitution that a lot of uh, some managers possibly wouldn't, uh, you know, they they wouldn't have the bottle to make it so early on in the game when, when things just weren't weren't going right for Hibs. It, it's a real sort of a Neil Lennon thing, isn't it? Well, I think you've got to do it, and that's what the manager is. The manager's never the person who's going to shy away from tough decisions. Yeah, he was really tough on Fraser uh, to come off, but he's, he's done nothing. It's just a formation. We need to change it. We knew we needed two up top. We knew to give him something different, and, and we've done that. And I said to the manager, knew we had to do it. We couldn't waste another 15 minutes because we just wasted wasted 30. So. And that was that, and it, and it worked. So I said we're disappointed. But yeah, he made a he made that decision. I think it could have been maybe a couple of us in the middle of the park, um, across the midfield. It could have been any one of us. I think we, we started poorly, um, but the managers made this decision, and obviously I feel for Fraser. It's it's not great, but we we had to change something. And it was immediate impact we, when Holtie came on and um, he got his goal and set up my goal and. Um, I thought he was great on the league. As league champions, this is the kind of team you're going to be playing every week next season. It, it's, a, it's a sign. Obviously, you, you've played against the, the likes of Hearts, then last season you played at numerous Premier Division teams. How do you feel the team are, are prepared for going into the, the Premier League next year? Um, no, it's going to be week in, week out that we have to perform. It's not just in the, in the Cup games. But um, if we play how we did in the first 30 minutes, then it's going to be a, a long, hard season. But no, we, we will know we're better than that. And, just need to go well, it. As I said, it's, um, we've had a tough old year. We've, we've worked hard, and, yeah. and I think what people don't realise is how, how that championship is. I don't think they realise how much you want to work week in, week out. We've had a good, good old slog at this season. Um, no international breaks, no nothing. And uh, to be fair, the boys keep running, the boys keep working hard. Do you know what I mean? So, but it, yeah, it's difficult. Do you know what I mean? It's a tough, it's a tough division. I said, but we've got a good side. I think you look at this year, we, we beat Hearts over two games. Mm -hmm. um, we're close to beating them, inevitably we maybe should have beat them, but that's not the way it is. So we'll be happy, we're happy where we are, next year we'll be fine, the club will want to bring more people in. And what has to be said for those fans, I mean we're looking at possibly record tickets, or season ticket sales for next season, we're looking at uh, 20,000 there today, and they were incredible. Oh, they were great, um, all afternoon, we could feel it when we were going forward, <clears throat> even at 2-0 down they were still with us, and we got it back to two each, every time we were going forward they could hear the roar, and they were urging us forward, and they said we looked as if we were going to score, but a deflection puts us out at the end of the day and it's disappointing but it's, it's been a good run.